thicket. Wow, look at that. That is incredible. This is one of the types of birch trees, really the only type of birch tree in Connecticut that I find chaga on. You know, you can find them on white birch and others. Connecticut. This is the tree for chaga. And this is huge. I can't even fit it all on the screen. <laughs> And welcome to my channel. I think I'm going to call the channel Undertow Outdoors. <laughs> Undertow as T O E, not T O W, kind of a play on words. My wife actually came up with that. And what I'm going to be doing is kind of going around different parts of Connecticut and New England. Um, looking for mushrooms, fishing, um, hanging out in the woods, maybe some camping, hiking, um, pretty much anything to do with the outdoors. Right now, I'm out looking for black trumpet mushrooms. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a lobster mushroom. Or who knows? Some chanterelles. I found quite a few uh, cinnabar chanterelles this year. And uh, we'll see what happens. But if I find anything else, actually, right here, our a type of Amanita. Not really sure which variety. Because as you can see, this one's pretty much blown by. There's a big slug on it. See the gill? This one is way gone. And this one is just coming up. This is in the button stage. This might be an Amanita muscara. Here's another one. But I'm not positive on that. I don't really mess around with these guys too much because this class of mushroom has some very, very poisonous uh, fungi in that class. And I don't mess around with that yet. Not that good. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm going to continue to look around here. Actually, before I go, I'm going to say that I am in northern Connecticut. Kind of northeastern kind of um, only a few miles from the Massachusetts border so yeah hopefully we can find something cool stay tuned okay so it's only been a couple of minutes since uh, the last segment um, I reviewed that video right after I shot it and the audio was horrible it kept cutting out um, I'm filming on my phone my iPhone and I have a waterproof case that I put on it um, and apparently it was messing with the audio so I'm just gonna leave that off um, while I film until I get a camera but um, I see something real quick let me check this out This looks like somebody hangs a trail camera here. Cause I am in State Forest, by the way. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I guarantee someone's putting uh, a trail camera on this birch tree. But anyway, moving on. Uh, in the last segment, I was talking about chaga. And 
the kind of tree I find it on. The black birch, I think I may have found some actually. Not that far away from where that big birch was. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I think there might be chaga here. Let's check it out. Sure looks like it. It's up too high though. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Not that I would want to get it because I don't need chaga right now. And I'm not going to pick something unless I'm going to use it. So, actually it looks like there's some on the ground here. Yeah, that's pieces of chaga. Old. I would never use that. This is the interior. This would be orange. Bright orange. The outside is like a burnt black. Here's another piece. <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely this is definitely chaga up there. Well, that's cool. I'll mark this on my GPS. In case I need to come back and get some. I would need a ladder though, because that's about... I don't know, probably 10 feet up. I could probably knock it down with a stick if I really needed to. Yeah, I just cut this stick. Mainly to uh, knock down spider webs. Because spiders are everywhere right now. Looks like a deer's been scratching here. Yep. You can see some where the hooves have been dragging. Oh man, these bugs are horrible. I completely soaked myself in bug spray twice and they're still coming at me. I'm gonna have to put uh, some 100% deed on here pretty soon because these things are tearing me up even with even with like two or three coats of bug spray. <laughs> mosquitoes are terrible. Of course you can see the kind of area I'm in. It's pretty much mosquito infested. Because of uh, the type of mushrooms I'm looking for. This is the kind of area they're going to be in. So moving on. If I see anything else cool. Uh, I'll let you know. Awesome. Look at that big blowdown. That's crazy. So I decided to come check that uh, large blowout. Or blowdown. <laughs> blowout. <laughs> blowdown. Uh, it's right here. Right next to me. It's huge. I was checking it out. And I happened to notice this. Those aren't black trumpets. Does anybody know what those are? No? I'll tell ya. These little guys, I believe, are called dead man's fingers. A type of fungus. They call them that because it kind of looks like dead fingers coming out of the ground. Hence, dead man fingers. And there's a bunch of different types of mushrooms around here. I haven't looked at these yet. Let me take my pack off real quick. Look at these guys. I thought these were chanterelles at first. I don't think they are though. Spider webs all up in here. No. I forget what these are called, but sometimes people commonly confuse these with chanterelles, but they're not. <laughs> no, if these are chanterelles, there would be uh, the current gills that run down the stipe and up, and this would be more of a trumpet shape. It's like waxy caps or something, wax caps maybe. Don't hold me to that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to look around here 
and uh, this thing is massive. This is crazy. I'm six foot. That's huge. Yeah, I'm gonna look around. This looks like it might be a good area. I'm gonna look around here and see if I can find some uh, some good edible mushrooms. So I'll get back to you. There is my pack basket. <laughs> here we go. I just found some more chaga. And it is a pretty decent sized piece. Some on the side there. Nice. I'm gonna leave this here too, but let me see if I could uh, chip a piece off with my knife here. So you guys, if you don't know what chaga looks like, look at that. See how orange that is inside? Very orange. They call this tinder fungus. Um, so when you dry this out, when you dry this out and uh, you put a spark to it, it will smolder and burn for quite some time, uh, allowing you to get a fire started. I actually think it smells like uh, incense. Um, it smells pretty good. I've burned it before in my house. And it burns for a while, just like incense, and it smells pretty darn good, I think. But uh, once again, found on a birch tree. So I know it's definitely chaga. It looks burnt on the outside and very orange on the inside. Very cool, very cool. And I found all this since I started the video. I mean, probably within 75 yards in this little area. So that's awesome. This is a, this might be a pretty good spot. I've never been to this particular location before. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Very swampy, lots of moss. Very, very wild looking old looking place a lot of really big trees in here very cool so um I, mean, I guess i'll just talk for a little bit so yeah i'm brand new to youtube sorry <laughs> as you can tell i'm not probably not very good at making videos yet i need to get uh some kind of little video camera. <sighs> a tripod. Oh, so I can make some decent videos for you guys. This iPhone takes really good video. Uh, maybe I should just get, I don't know, some type of selfie stick for this or something. So the videos aren't shaking all over the place and I don't keep blocking the uh, their microphone with my hand. That would help. You can actually hear what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, this is something I've always wanted to do, just never really got around to it. Um, I spent a lot of time out in the woods. I see some really cool stuff, and I've always thought, well, if I had a video camera, I'd be rich because I've seen some crazy stuff in the woods. Um, yeah. But this is good. This is fun so far. My very first video. My wife's probably going to laugh at me when she sees this. <laughs> but, um, no, she's actually the one who encouraged me, really encouraged me to, to do this. Because she's, uh, she does photography. Um, she wants to get more serious into that. So, uh, it's not that hard to imagine how she could support this, you know. She's already into photography. And I'll, I don't know, I'm rambling. But this is a really cool area. And I lo it looks like it's late in the day. Well, it kind of is. It's almost 4 o'clock, but it's August, so it won't get dark until about 8. But um, it's just cloudy, and I'm in this majority hemlocks in this little grove I'm in. Um, 
So it blacks out a lot of sunlight. But yeah, just for the sake of not making this video super long, I'm gonna turn turn it off and really try to find what I'm looking for here. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully I'll be back with some good edible mushrooms. Found something cool. I am in a slightly different area. Um, slightly more swampy and more mosquito infested. But um, still in the hemlocks pretty good. And check out what I just found. These are reishi mushrooms, I believe. Or hemlock varnish, whatever. But uh, these are edible. Um, these ones have toughened up already, so I'm not going to take them. But um, when they first start growing, the outer rim is going to be white. And uh, you basically just trim that white part off. And um, that's edible. The whole thing is actually edible, but it's so tough that you wouldn't really want to eat it. So what you could do is grind it up and make tea out of it. Medicinal tea. You see, this is one... Yeah, see, that's already gone by, too. And the rain has washed the color off. Really cool looking, though. They're really, really smooth. Get a look underneath. Pure white. Really smooth. Really cool mushrooms. And as I was checking these out, I stood up to put my back pack down. I turn around, and I catch... A glimpse of white right over there so I'm like well this looks cool oh I'm trying to cross this stuff it's tough tough going in here it's really soft so I come running over here and this is something I've never seen personally it looks familiar. It's a type of tooth fungus. I don't know if it's a type of coral. It's a type. I almost thought this was um, what they call a bear's head, a lion's mane. I'm really not sure though. <clears throat> Pick a little bit. I belong to a mushroom identification page on Facebook, so I've taken pictures and I posted them on there, hoping someone's going to tell me this is a, a choice edible. <laughs> and in that case, I would take this and fry it up when I get home. But until I know for sure, I'm not going to. I'm not going to pick it because you know it has its purpose. I'm not going to kill it, remove it. Just, you know, to have it and not do anything with it. I don't believe in doing that kind of stuff. So until I get a response, a positive ID on what that is, it's just going to sit there. But, um, yeah, I should probably explain this, why I have this crazy looking basket. This is a, a trapper's basket. Um, I use these when I go ice fishing. Uh, to hold my tip-ups and stuff in. Um, but the reason I use these when I go mushroom hunting is it's rigid, unlike a normal backpack. You know, they can be collapsed and you can crush them pretty easy. This is rigid, so whatever mushrooms I find, I put in mesh bags such as this. This is a smaller one. I have a much larger mesh bag inside my waterproof um, a waterproof bag in there but I use these to go around and collect the mushrooms and then when I'm walking out or I'm walking to a new spot or just casually walking through the woods I'll put the mushrooms in here and they won't get crushed and also in the fall time when the hen of the woods mushrooms are popping um, they get they can get really big uh, the biggest one I found is probably I don't know, seven, eight pounds, pretty big. And I'd be able to fill this basket actually pretty quick 
with Hen of the Woods mushrooms. Um, but yeah, that's why I have it. it works pretty good for me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to look around this area. And hopefully I get confirmation on what that mushroom is over there. Um, be good to know anyway. Edible or not, I don't really care. Just cool to know what it is. But, uh, yeah. If I see anything else cool, I will make a video. Alright guys. Found something cool. Look at this little guy. That is a red eft. Really, really neat. It's good to see these guys. A little salamander. Let me see if I can pick them up. First one I've seen this year. Hey, little buddy. Look at him. See the little red spots? It's one of Connecticut's native salamanders. All right, put them back. And that is a red eft, E-F-T. All right, moving on. I'm getting back out near the road now. You might be able to hear that car. And more chaga. This is kind of odd because you never, never find chaga growing this close. This is only, I mean, this is really close, uh, 40 yards from where I found the last chaga. Definitely chaga there, and down there, and probably some more tucked in somewhere in that mess, but I'm not going to dig around in there. And wow, look at this. Big old millipede. This is an awesome, awesome forest. Look how big this guy is. This is my finger. This is definitely um, an intact ecosystem here. There is all types of insect life. Amphibians, there's frogs, toads everywhere, salamanders, mushrooms all over the place. Just not really the ones that I'm looking for, but still, it's very, very cool. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I'm definitely coming back here, that's for sure. This is an awesome location. Yeah, if I find anything else, you guys will be the first to know. <laughs> All right, moving on. At the size of this varnish cap. That's a big one. Man, these things are cool. And this tree had quite a few on it. See, it's a dead hemlock, standing dead. Look at that. So cool. Here's some other random polypores. They were growing on a birch. See, the birch is pretty much all disintegrated, but these guys are almost petrified. Neat. I was just communicating with an owl not too long ago. He's hooting at me, I was hooting at him. Looks like a turkey or deer or something rooting around in here. Probably turkeys looking for bugs. There's plenty of them in this location. Man. <clears throat> um, oh. I keep setting down my spider stick <laughs> every time I find something cool I set it down 
and I keep forgetting to grab it. But uh, yeah, you can probably hear cars. I'm getting real, I mean the roads. Roads right there, so. I'm almost out. Didn't find any decent edibles. Uh, I've got like no cell reception, so I couldn't get a positive ID of uh, that toothed fungus that I found. I think my it may have been lion's mane or bear's head. Um, yeah, it's not a big deal. Just covered in bugs anyway. It would have taken me some a lot of work to. Uh, clean all the bugs off of that thing if it was edible but um yeah, I'm just gonna poke around here a little bit in this area see if I can find anything else cool anything edible just see what I can see and uh yeah if you don't see any more clips of me in the woods I'll do um an outro in my jeep so yeah, hopefully I find something. If I don't, it was a cool day anyway. But, uh, yeah, catch you guys later. Alright, everybody. Well, as promised, I'm back in my Jeep. Um, didn't find any uh, edible mushrooms, but that's okay. Uh, you know, you can't... That's why I call it mushroom hunting and not mushroom finding. <laughs> you know, if you found edibles every time you went out, everybody would be doing it, and... Yeah, but um, I had a good day. Hot, it's really humid out. Got bitten up by some mosquitoes, walked through multiple spider webs. But uh, I had a good day. Um, I think it might be a car about to drive by. Ah, whatever. Yeah, I had a good day. Um, saw a lot of cool stuff. Uh, explored a little bit of a new piece of woods that I've never been in before and uh, yeah but if you guys like this style of videos I don't know I'm just doing this like I said on my phone um, I gotta get an actual camera for my main filming but if anyone actually watches this um, feel free um, leave me suggestions spider web on my phone leave me uh, suggestions and uh, let me know what you want, what you want to see. Um, yeah, I'm pooped. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.